What is going on YouTube? I am the Oki Jellicent and I am back on Pokemon Showdown for another Pokemon Showdown Live. Today we are going to be using this, uh, I think it's SD Krata to that Pokemon used. Uh, yeah, SD DD Zardex um, team that um, Pokemon used in his road to OLT. So yeah, we're going to be trying it out, see if I can get any wins with it. As we find, um, I guess, Hyper Offense with Amoongus, okay. Uh, Crawdot definitely has potential if I can weaken Rotom, actually get rid of Rotom, and uh, weaken Amoongus. I'm not sure how much plus 2 knockoff does to Amoongus, but I'm hoping a lot. Um, I think Stealth Rocks can be very valuable this game, so I'm just going to lead off with it. As we both get... Is this Magnet Rise? It's not Magnet Rise. Uh, I'm just going to get up my Stealth Rocks. We are Rocky Helmet Intimidate, yes. And now what I want to do is just uh, Stone Edge. Reek in the Rotom, just like I said, for Crawdont. Uh, I don't expect this to be Scarf Rotom, just because his team would be really weak to uh, uh, some more offensive threats like if it was that. So yeah, we do it at speed. And here I can just bring out uh, Latios. Matthew's going to try to Hydro Pump and miss, unfortunately. And now, uh, I'm actually going to double out into Starmie, predicting his Heatran, because I want to get rid of these hazards. Uh, yes, we do catch the Heatran on the switch. And what we can do is rapid spin these hazards away. As um, I kind of expect him, expect him to knock off here. What should I do? Klefki is kind of just a hard count. He's going to pursue it, yep. I was uh, fearing that, I guess you could say. Hmm. If I just Dragon Dance up, actually no, he, I'm not Earthquake. I'm actually gonna, do I want to change this to Earthquake from over, yeah, I'm gonna change it to Earthquake over Roost just because it seems like we might have some trouble with Heatran. So, uh, Earthquake. Very nice. There we go, and what I'll do here is just go out into Klefki and click, I think, Spike. Yeah, if he's gonna go Landorus, just like expected. That's what I'll do here is just go Charizard on his Stealth Rocks. Yep, you do see the Stealth Rocks, and now what I can do is Mega Evolve and. Honestly, just a Dragon Dance up, right? Yeah, this guy is going to try to do this, which is kind of annoying. But what can he really touch me with? He can Toxic? I mean, sure. He's going to Dragon Dance up again. Earth Power? Oh, that does a lot. I didn't expect it. That's, is that Specs damage? Wait, did we just see Life Orb? No, we saw Leftovers. That's not Specs damage. That's what I'll do here is just get off a Dragon Claw, try to do some damage. As we crit him, nice. Kind of needed that. This plus two Crawdot knock out Amoongus. Crawdot plus two knock off against Amoongus. 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 Oh, you pivot. It has a chance. Um, and against Heatran, how much is its Earth Power doing? Offensive Earth Power is doing quite a lot. I don't want to send in that right now. What I'll just do is go um, Blanders here, and honestly just um, Stone Edge. He might try to save this, I'm not sure, actually you know what, it's not worth the risking the burn. Because even if he goes to Rotom, I, I, can just, I just go into Klefki and start uh, spikes, just setting up spikes on that, something to Earthquake. As we are able to knock him out, and uh, Crawdont is our win condition, 100%. It's unfortunate that it has to take those Stealth Rocks damage, but... It can set up on Weavile, it can set up on a lot of things, really. This we have to get rid of first. Is Crawdont at speed this? Too... It's not, it's 150, it's not going to run any speed, is it? I'm just going to U-turn out into Lottie. Because we need this for Scizor. 
So yes, we're going to U-turn out, and what I'm going to do here is actually bring out Klefki, hoping to set up even more spikes against this guy. Like he's going to T-wave, that's fine. I don't care. And here I will just uh, start spiking up as I get paralyzed. Of course. So what I'll do here is try to spike up again. We do get up our next spike. And I think what I have to do here is uh, this T-Wave. We do manage to get our T-Wave off. Can we get a Revenge Full Para? As we do. As now what I'll do is go Landorus on his SD probably. He's using a Defog. Okay, that's fine. That makes it so the Microdon doesn't have to take any damage now. What's the switching? It's, it's going to be a Rotom switching, right? So I'm going to U-turn. As what I'll do is get it, bring in my Lottie now. Even if he brings in Scizor, I just have the hard counter and it's already paralyzed, so... Yeah, my play is definitely just uh, Draco here. As this is a switch-in, of course. Everybody switches in Scizor, even though I could have HP Fire for whatever reason. What I'll do here is bring in Klefki. And he's gonna roost up, that's fine. And what I'll just do is... Uh, honestly, just start... Uh, Starts setting up spikes as I, of course, cannot do that. I'm just gonna go Lando right now. This could be game, depending on how things go. I have to get him into range of Aqua Jet. No, he's, he's, he's gonna have Bullet Punch. I'm gonna start Earthquaking. I need him to get some. I need him to get fully paralyzed a few times here. That's not able to knock me out, and we are able to knock him out with the Earthquake. So, nice uh, full para there. Definitely. Pretty much saved us the game. Although I think Klefki might have been able to do something. And Crawdon probably lived Bullet Punch anyway. As he's gonna bring this, that's fine. But what item does Crawdon have? Life Orb? I can, can I set up to plus 3 against this thing? No, he might have low kick. I have to check for that. What I'm gonna do here is this earthquake. I just went to knock. Completely okay. What I can do here is just bring out Klefki and start layering those spikes up again. We get up a spike. We get up another spike. That's not doing anything. We get up a third spike. Hopefully. That would be best case scenario. As I kind of expect him to... What do I want? What do I think he's going to do here? He's definitely going to try to predict Latios, right? He's going to U-turn. I'm going to throw off a T-Wave. He tried to catch my Lottie as we were able to T-Wave him. Nice. What I'll do here is just Flash Cannon. He's going to try to knock off. It'd be great to get this attack off. Of course I don't. Flash Cannon, of course, again. Okay, Revenge, Full Para, nice. And now he has no Latio switchins. Like, actually, he doesn't have anything. I'm gonna go Latios this time. Yep, he's gonna try to Earthquake. Nice. What I'll do is Draco. Should knock him out. This is, it's gonna knock out this, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. It's interesting. A little Psysock here. On his Rotom, that's fine, that's just weakening that for Crowdont. So I'll, I can just do stuff here. Yeah, but I'll just do this to do stuff again. That's fine. He's scarfed into Knock. I'm gonna go Crowdont. That's doing nothing. That crit us. Of course. No, we might actually lose because of that. I'm going to SD up. We should outspeed Rotom, right? We have 229 speed. 
knock knock out that. Jet should be able to knock out Landorus. As this is a switch in. Do I just go for it here? I mean, I don't know where they're at. If he's defensive, which I think he is. Rotom Wash. Oh, you physically defensive. He's only hitting uh, 210 speed. Did I see any... I'm just going to knock. I should out speed, yeah. Yep, and we should take the game. Yes, nice. So we do get a win with the team, even though we were really in the back in that game for a while. Very nice, very nice. Let's look for another one. Uh, Star I should have saved Starmie, that would have been a smarter play so that my uh, Charizard didn't have to take enough damage, that much damage um, against the Heatran, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, we find this team, once again, it's kind of just offense with Amoongus, I don't get it. But this time we do have Earthquake on our DD Zardex, which has, not to mention it, a huge chance of winning, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Klefki. You know, perfectly predicting that. That's what I'll do. I want a T-Wave this. He has no T-Wave switch-ins, except for Zapdos. <laughs> but I don't really see Zapdos doing that much to me. He could Mega Evolve and... Does High Jump get just straight up KO me? I, don't, I can't just let Klefki get in. Klefki. Big spikes against Mega Medicham. It does. I have hard into Landris. I can't let Klefki go, go down when spikes are so valuable this game. He can Ice Punch here, that's fine. I don't. I mean, if he Ice Punches, then I bring out... Then I bring out... Um, he's gonna Fake Out, right? That's what I can do here, is just hard predict the Ice Punch, go right back out into Klefki. Uh, worst case scenario, he goes like, Keldeo. Worst case scenario, he just randomly goes Heatran, but... Hmm. Let's see, he should... I uh, He should expect me to predict the Ice Punch. But I'll be, I'll be happy if he stays in. Ke yep, Keldeo does come out. As I can just... As, uh, I'm just gonna start... I'm just gonna drop a T-Wave. Should expect it. This thing might have Heat Wave, but either way, I'm just gonna start setting up spikes on it. It is. It does have Heat Wave. It does burn me, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if we can take another one. It's gonna spike up again. I don't need this. Well, actually, this is my Weavile switch in. Can I set up spikes freely against something? Against Amoongus, I just set up spikes forever now that I'm burned. So what I'm actually going to do is just go, uh, face Latios here. I am Life Orb Offensive, Timid, as I'm assuming, yeah. So, I, you know what, I don't, do I even see myself looking at Roost on, because we found two games with Heat right now. I'm actually thinking I'm just going to replace T-Bolt with Earthquake. Because Earth, that could be really awesome. Don't pair me. As it doesn't, nice. I'm gonna Draco here. That does a huge amount. He might roost. Yeah, he's just gonna, he's gonna be that guy. But now that we saw Discharge, Defog, Roost, do I really expect him to have? Oh, we saw Heat Wave also. We saw his entire set. As he's gonna try to Heat Wave, and he doesn't burn me luckily this time. So I can just get up rocks here. As he's going to go into Keldeo, nice. And we, do we have countered Keldeo? Starmie? Yeah, Starmie's our counter to Keldeo. Since Scald, that does a huge amount. What are we? His initial switch into this, I don't know what it would be, there's no recovery. Yeah, I, I didn't want to toxic just in case this thing came out. What do I want to get put to sleep? Should we just go Klefki instead of Spikes, like I said? I'm actually thinking about doubling out to try to catch the Zapdos right now. 
Can I DDF? Do I win? Well, I have to come down to our moon this, I mean, this thing's fake out. I'm gonna try it. As, yes, we do catch the Zapdos. Nice. As, uh, 1 DD should be, uh, All I need to do is not get fully paired on Discharge. As we do get out of DD off, he's gonna Discharge. Please don't para. Nice. Uh, does Flare Blitz kill? Actually, I don't want to take Flare Blitz recall. Does Dragon Claw kill? Zapdos. I guess it's... Let's, let's calc it both. Mega Charizard X. Dragon Dance, Flare Blitz. Dragon Claw at plus one is doing... 57. That's physically defensive. What if he's specially defensive? It should kill. 70 to 83. I'm gonna DD up again. Yes, don't para. Nice, okay. So we should be good for some KOs here. I'm gonna Dragon Claw. I hope it goes Heatran, because that means I can actually make use of my Earthquake. As we are able to knock him out, nice. That was a pretty big threat, and he should go Metacham, yes. That's what I'll do is to stay in and Dragon Claw. That's not either. I can I can get more knockouts against this. Cause I can just earthquake here. Should knock him out. He just sacks it. We should have the game now. I don't know why he did that. Cause that's going to get broken. And what we can do is just dragon clutch. That doesn't even knock me out. He should have saved Medicham. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah. So we are good. We're up six three. Crowdon has. Well, he has Keldeo, so I guess Crowdon doesn't really do anything right now. Um, I guess what his play is is to go Amoongus, so I'm forced to Flare Blitz it. Hmm. But we should be able to pick up this win, because he doesn't really app, he's going to forfeit. So, we do pick up the win. Very nice, and what we can do is just look for, you know, a couple more. I'll search for... Oh my gosh, no, why do we get this? What do we, what, what's our switch into Chansey? I guess what we do... I mean, I guess on the bright side here, Crowdon has huge um, winning potential. Pretty much just carrying everything out right, but Chestnut. I think what I'm going to do is lead off with... Uh, I guess Charizard? As, yeah, I kind of expected this. And what I'm going to do is a Dragon Dance up, predicting his Protect on turn 1. Or what I can do is just go straight for the Earthquake. Don't Protect. Yep, we bring him all the way down with that. Is this going to knock us out? It does knock us out. I don't know how I feel about that trade. I really thought Earthquake would kill. We can go Stormy here. Throw off a Free Scald. Yeah, burn. can we get a nice burn? I mean, even if we don't burn, we toxic. But if we do get the burn, nice. It's gonna synchronize us. We have analytic, I'm assuming. Uh, we have natural cure, nice. So this is something I can just set up uh, spike spawn. He's gonna U-turn, I don't know into what. Thunderous? Maybe Thunderous. Maybe I shouldn't have this sacked off. Charizard like that. I'm, I'm just glad I didn't Dragon Dance up turn 1, that would have been terrible. If Earthquake killed... Am I adamant, or...? Sorry about that. Um, we are... Jolly. We're not even max speed, but I'm assuming we are speed, whatever we need to, so... As this is what he decides to bring out. Okay. I'll Flash Cannon it. That doesn't even do... I mean, we live, so we're definitely gonna get a spike. And we didn't really have a switch into that anyway, so... This thing, we have to go... What's he gonna do, start nasty plotting up? I'm just gonna spike. That's fine, that doesn't even knock us out. <laughs> I spike up again. It's just gonna Thunderbolt us and knock us out, but we are set now for a Crowdon sweep if we can pull it off. 
and here my play is definitely just to go this and click. Is it worth predicting at this point? No, it's just worth clicking Draco. That doesn't even do that much. Let's see, Volt switches. Okay, at least it's not anything too major. So I already mentioned, um, we already have our win condition, which is Crowdont. Actually, Crowdont? Well, he still has Chestnut. You know what? I'm gonna hope. Yeah, he's gonna Pursuit here. But now what we're gonna do is go Crowdont, set up to plus six, it looks like. I mean, unless he makes this a switch right now. He's gonna switch into this. Do we kill? I'm assuming no. What do we have life for him? Chess not. Physical tank again. Crowdont. No, oh, we're not doing that a lot. Woodhammer completely destroys us. Let's gonna go land out here. Let's see how he's gonna drain punch. And now that now now we get three stealth rocks. Basically we have to weaken this chestnut in range of Crowdont and we win. I mean if I wanna do that then I just attack it here. No, but stealth rocks are much more valuable. So now he's even getting a recovery. What I, th what I think I have to do is go Starmie. Then he's going to set up his own spike. And now what I do is Toxic. And he's going to bring out this, but he's taking a ton of damage in the process. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we can. He doesn't like recover or anything of that sort here. But I'll do a Scald, hoping he doesn't. Okay, we needed those hazards. I think what we're going to do is go Lando on his Cerus or Soft Boiled. Actually, that works out, because now he's going to die to burn next time he comes in. Bring out. What's he going to bring out? I mean, if Thunderous T has HP Ice, then there's nothing really much I can do about that. I'm gonna bring out this. I'm gonna go Crowd on right away. That does so much. That's what I can do is just SDO. And I think we just have to go for it. I don't, he might Woodhammer here. I'm just hoping he just Woodhammer miss. I'm hoping Woodhammer misses. Drain Punch. Oh, he has Drain Punch, of course. Yeah, that's gonna be the game. We'll look for one more. I don't want to end it off on that loss. We had a really bad team matchup to start off anyway, and maybe I really expected Earthquake to kill right at the beginning against that Dianti. Sacked for pretty big win condition, but here we have a ton of winning potential with Charizard as long as Clefable is gone. So I think what uh, we can do is to start spiking up. No, you don't. He has too many good leads against us with that. Crowdont also has huge winning potential. Yeah, it definitely does. Against, we just need to weaken this and Rotom. If it's not, if it's defensive, then we outspeed it. So what I'll do is I'll open up. I guess Lottie. We can go Lando and try to get stealth, get up Stealth Rocks. I mean, worst case, he leads a Rotom, we go Klefki, uh, he goes uh, Char... No, he's not going to Charizard, he's going to go Hippo or Excadrill. In which case, we go right back into Lando and get up Stealth Rocks, so that's fine. Another bad case would be him leading Latias, Ladia because... Actually, no, that's not terrible, because I can just U-turn out turn one. It's fine if I take all that Draco damage, because he's going to be taking about the same amount of damage from the U-turn. So he's going to lead off a Charizard. I don't know if this is X or Y, but I'm just going to Stone Edge. Because, yeah, he's going to switch out. We miss. It doesn't really matter anyway. No, 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 no. Wrong move. Stealth Rock is what we want to go for. Here we go. I don't know why, but sometimes when I cancel it and choose a new move, Showdown just decides to not register it. So I'm just going to click it a few times. He's going to Stealth Rock of his own. That's so what I'll do here is U turn out. Into Starmie. 
if he's gonna roar out, of course he brings out the one this. This is, this is this is like the worst possible scenario. This is where a roost would be useful, but eh, it's fine. I'm just gonna go stony again, predicting a stone edge. This is fine. I don't care. He's just gonna defog here, so I'm gonna gladly get rid of. He's gonna gladly toxic you. Yeah, he can't outspeed me. And getting this toxic off will be great. And it plus if he Draco's here, then I go right out of Decrodont and start setting up. Because if I get to plus three, then I win. So. He's, that knocks us out, but you know, just like I said, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, well, he has a fable. Oh, who cares? It might be magic card. If it's magic card, then I'll be happy. So, Hippo dies, this dies, Charizard dies. Charizard dies at plus two. Actually, no, it's gonna take Stealth Rock damage, so. What I can do is just SD up here. And, uh, I'm assuming this is going to be the defensive set, and it should die to knockoff. Yep, goodbye. So we do get our knockout, just like he did against our water type. Dude, does Aqua Jet do enough? I I'm assuming not. But then again, we are adaptability. Gladia, so you... Offensive defog against Cardon. Aqua Jet is not doing enough. So our play here isn't a Klefki. Because yeah, he's gonna try to Draco us. And he's obviously expecting the T-Wave here, so I'm actually just gonna Metal Sound. Well, actually no, it's, it's gonna be so great getting a T-Wave off this thing, it's not worth predicting. Because yeah, he, that, that play was super obvious, but I just didn't... If we got a T-Wave off, it would have been awesome. Lando is our switch in every time. I think, yeah, he's gonna take that damage. And nobody ever stays in, so I'm just gonna stone edge here. Yes, yes, we do catch it, and nice, we get the KO. Yeah, no, I, I don't know why, but okay, just, if somebody has their Excadrill in, just, they never stay in no matter what. I just, that's just something I've learned. Weakening this thing would be great, but I still need this for Excadrill, so I'm just gonna U turn out. Into Klefki. I don't care if he T waves me. If he... Unless he's gonna start combining up. But we 1v1 this thing. Metal Sound. Unless he has Flamethrower, in which case we don't. Of course we miss. Why would we hit ever? Metal Sound. Get rid of that special defense. Metal Sound. Of course. You know what? I'm gonna have to wave him just to start getting some full paras on him. I want to revenge full para. Get, come on, get paralyzed. Nope, he's not. What I'll do is metal sound again. Nice. I'll metal sound again. Because he's, he's really keen on this, I don't know why. I don't even know if Moonblast is gonna be doing half to me. This might be worth calking. A fable, combined, magic guard against Klefki. Oh, you spikes. Moonblast is not doing a lot, but at plus six, yeah, it's, it has a chance to do a KO. Do we really get fully paralyzed again? What is this? Metal sound. Yeah, yeah that's doing a ton. I'll just attempt a flash cannon here as we do get some damage off. And of course he breaks through. I got fully par like, th paralyzed like three times, didn't I? Crowd on touch speeds now and kills. I'm, I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh, that does nothing. This dies. We have no option but to go crowd on and just sack it, do we? Yeah. I mean, if he got a full para, we should get a full para. That's how it works, right? Come on, Proudon. 339. He's 
I don't know what set he is. But all I do know is he has no switch-ins for this. But I have no switch-ins for Draco at this point. If he brings in Latias, I just have to sack. I oh, crit him, nice, okay. So this game is definitely winnable now, because of that crit. As this is just getting further weakened. What we can do is sack off this. As I think we what we also have to do is win a speed tie here. If he's even max speed. We're max speed timid. I don't know if he's max speed timid. As he does win the speed tie. Great. But does Crawdot set up is the question. Against Gladias. Offensive defog at minus two special attack. Why does that do so much? At neutral, it's doing 140 to 165. I have to go land out. He's definitely switching out here, there's no question. He's an earthquake. As yeah, he's gonna bring out Hippo just like expected. Because we're doing nothing. I think what I have to do is Stealth Rocks here. And now what I think I have to do is catch the Latias on the switching. As no, we don't get it. I hope he just goes for Slack Off or something here. Or. We're just intimidating this thing. Actually, wait, this could work. What I'm gonna do is Earthquake. I don't know, uh, this is our only hope of winning here. Yes, yes, we do. So what we should be able to do here is just Stone Edge. If he's gonna roar us out. I hope we can set up on this thing to the point where we just win. It's minus two earthquake. It should kill us. I'm, I would be surprised if it doesn't. I have to calculate because it's our only way of winning. Hippowdon, oh you mixed wall against Cardant. Minus, yeah, it definitely kills. I just have to grab him as we don't even knock him out. Yes, yeah, that's going to be the game. So, uh, we won the first two games and lost the last two. The last one was definitely based on luck. We lost a speed tie. We got fully paralyzed on the Clefable like three times. That game was definitely winnable. If, you know, if I played a little better, but mostly if I had a lot more luck. But, yeah, either way, um, we should have some more lives going up soon. And the WPL is going to continue. And, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.